Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a modification on the Toyota Tacoma 3RZ engine. This may apply to the Toyota 3.4 engine as well. This is a DIY snorkel with using 2 inch PVC pipe. Two main reasons why you might want to snorkel your vehicle and these are the reason. One, if you are planning to do any water crossing, deep water crossing. Your engine has an air box where it breathes. So imagine if you go swimming and you go under the water for less for more than a minute, you're gonna have to come back up and get some fresh air. Well, with the snorkel, as long as the snorkel is way above the water when you're crossing, the engine can still breathe and it won't hydrolog. A lot of people they tend to think that their engine is waterproof and they'd like to drive in deep water or go through some deep puddle, and whenever the intake sucks in water it will go into your pistons and it will hydro lock your engine and that's where you can cost it will cost you a lot of money to get it replaced or fixed the second option is not super important but it's also a benefit and that's uh, that's the motor being able to get fresh engine because now it's sucking air from outside of the engine whereas it doesn't suck from inside the fender or merely inside the motor so those are the two benefits now keep in mind that this modification that I'm doing is PVC. It's not the prettiest. It's for an off-road rig. So if you guys care about your looks and stuff like that, you guys might not want to do it or you guys might want to spend the extra bucks and get an actual snorkel kit. So yeah, don't go in the comment section hating on the look of this DIY snorkel. Right here is the 3RZ air box. I have it taken out. I highly recommend you guys remove the air box. Um, spray some super clean soap whatever wash it and let it dry overnight it's also a good time to go ahead and replace your air filter if you haven't done it so the 3RZ box it's held with three bolts three 12 mil one here one here and one over here so this will be the passenger side if you're looking at from the engine so this right here is the inner fender and this is one full piece but it's held by a rivet so I went ahead and put some silicone around this piece so that will be waterproof and then this third piece right here goes into the f uh, inner fender wheel. It's held by 210 mil. So this section here, we're not gonna silicone it and we're just gonna leave it the way it is. The factory, they come with this little foam thingy. This right here then comes out to the outside fender behind the outside passenger fender and then connects to this long tube. And same thing for this long tube. So the only thing that we're not siliconing is this section here and this section right here and the reason why we're doing that is because if we ever need to replace it we can remove it and if we do silicone it it's going to be permanent and then this long tube here is held by two bolts two 10 mils and let me stop right there real quick the 3-4 motor is very similar it comes on the passenger side and this is what 3-4 looks like so i took a look at it and this is the same size same fitting so this is the same thing for the 3-4 so if you guys want to do this diy snorkel 3RZ and 3.4 is very very similar so once we come out from there we're gonna snorkel that and then we're gonna go into a 2 inch PVC <coughs> these are some of the fittings that we went with this right here is called a 2 inch street elbow this is a 2 inch inside diameter and then a 2 inch inner side this outer piece it's gonna go inside here it's a very tight fit it's gonna go inside there and then we're also gonna put a hose clamp right there and then I'm, once I get the right location, the right angle, I'm going to put some silicone around this piece here before I shove it in. And then we'll go ahead and cut the fender. And this piece here will pop out of the fender. And usually after that, you can build it the way you want. So now you can put this piece here, run your pipe, and I'll go into more uh, details once we get to the vehicle so that's basically the concept so you can go to your local Lowe's or Home Depot grab some two inch PVC fittings um, usually five foot of pipe is enough and then just various size of fitting if you don't if you don't know what size or what angle you need just buy a little bit of everything and then once you're done with the project you can just go back and refund what part you don't want but that's basically the concept of doing a DIY snorkel. Let's head over to the vehicle and get this thing mounted on. Right on the passenger side, this is where the factory 90 degree mounts into. It's held by two bolts, two 10 mil. Go ahead and put that back on. And the next thing we'll do is go ahead and put the air box back on, which is held by three 12 mil bolts. This is how the air box should look like once you have it installed. 
this is pretty much it right here just make sure it's nice and clean put the air filter back on put the top of the air box back on plug in your maf and then tighten your 10 mil and then you're pretty much done for the inside of the engine bay we'll go ahead and move to the fender wheel now and we'll go ahead and start uh, constructing the actual snorkel this is what the top of the air box should look like once everything's fully installed you can see we have the silicone which is now fully airtight and waterproof right here air box is on Make sure you plug in your MAF, tighten your 10 mil, and also you have one hose here that goes to the uh, driver's side. The next thing I did is I put the intake tube in. I had it held by one bolt, and then I had my two inch PVC street elbow, and I'm just trying to get an estimate of where I plan to drill on the outside. And this is where you just kind of have to take a guess and like I said, this is an off-road rig, so I don't care too much if I don't get it right. What we want to do is we want to get it around like right here. And then we want to go from here and then up here. We want to avoid this antenna. We don't want to go right here where the antenna is. So we want to kind of go at an angle right here. And then make sure we go straight up so we don't um, block the door as well once the door opens. There goes our two inch hole. You can see the street elbow. We might be off a little bit, but we can definitely adjust that. No worries. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. We were about an inch and a half off from where we started. So I had to cut way more over here to get this street elbow in. But that's no problem guys. It's just an off-road rig. Like I said, if you're a mall crawler, you might not want to do this. So we have that in. Now we're gonna put this straight 90 like that. Run our pipe and then we'll run up to the door jam. I went ahead and put some silicone on this street elbow, silicone all around and then I also enhanced it with a little hose strap or a hose clamp. And then on this side, I told you guys that I wasn't going to put nothing, but I decided I'm going to go and put some silicone in there too because this piece here, I have two backup ones so if I ever need to replace this, um, I'm not going to destroy anything. So. Now it's gonna be fully waterproof. Here's the final installation of the snorkel on the 3RZ. And again, this does apply to the 3.4 because it's very similar as far as the air, air as far as the air inbox intake. Everything went pretty smooth. The hardest thing is just basically trying to get the whole line up. But once you get that, everything else from the outside is pretty much however you want it, how long you want it, and however creative you want to do it. So right now, I'm using a conduit clamp. It's held by one clamp right here, which is really sturdy. I just got done doing a test drive on this bumpy road, and there is a little bit of vibration. So what I'm gonna do is I might shorten this because I feel like it's a bit too long. I might shorten it so that this piece here is flush with the roof. So maybe cut like four or five inches off of this main pipe. Um, everything right now is glued together. It's glued by the PVC cement, so this is all PVC cement. The only thing that's not glued yet is this uh, nose. And this piece here, I can always take it off and do whatever I want. <laughs> so I might go ahead and cut that off and then find some way. Um, I gotta find some way to make this, either find some way to hold this piece up there. It's not a super big deal. Um, but it was just vibrating on the highway. It vibrated on the highway more than it was vibrating on the dirt road. Uh, maybe because the suspension was working properly on the dirt road. But one thing you also want to check for is make sure the door opens. <coughs> you can see here the door open and doesn't bother with the snorkel. But other than that, that's pretty much it guys. Nothing much really. It's a pretty straightforward install. You can go ahead and cut some rubber and put it around this so it's not super sharp. I was gonna do that, but again, this is just an off-road rig. I'm not super detailed to my stuff. As long as it function wheels, that's the most important thing. And again, if you guys are gonna do this, uh, don't expect it to be pretty. If you guys want something pretty, go out and spend 500 bucks on a safari snorkel or whatever is out there. But this is just a quick video of how to do a DIY snorkel. Cost me uh, less than 30 bucks in parts and all the tools and stuff I pretty much had already. So go out there and build yourself a snorkel if you're gonna go do some water crossing or if you want some more better air quality going into your engine. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the section below and I'll see you guys next time.